Okay, this is a 16 by 20, and this is going to be my test pour. For the first time, I'm going to do Melly D's style puddle pours. And I'm going to do this test pour for my 30 inch by 40 inch. Hope it works out. Alright, I'm going to attach this to the beginning of the other one. I'm going to get everything set up. Be right back. Oh, before I go, I'm using this dark blue, which is Admiral Blue. This light, beautiful blue, which is Key West. This is Artist Lost Metallic Cobalt Blue. I've got a mix of bright red and just a little bit of uh, antique copper to give it a really nice metallic. And just a little bit darkened it up pretty bit. My black is going to be a mix of Mars Black and Apple Barrel Black. And my white's going to be a mix of Titanium White and Apple Barrel White. Alright, thank you. Okay, sorry about the angle. To get everything leveled the way I need it to be so I can pour on here, it's uh, a little bit different. I know it's going to look weird, you're not going to see the whole thing, but we'll try. Uh, I'm going to attach the first part, like I said before, this is a, uh, my first attempt at a Melly D style puddle pour. This is my test piece for a 30 inch by 40 inch I want to do. This is 16 by 20. I'm going to make sure everything's level still. Alright. Perfect. Okay, I'm never going to move this house. Let's get these colors off. Yeah. There is no silicone. There is just a pouring mix that I mixed up together. I don't have Liquitex like she uses. It's uh, a little bit of gloss medium, a little bit of iridescent medium, a little bit of my own pouring medium. And then it's mixed into the paint and everything's thinned down with water. Hopefully I get the right consistency. Start with white. And I'm going to do white, white, black, and black. Hopefully then I'll just put the colors on them like that. And they really do thicken up fast. I mixed up a lot of paint. Let's hope it's enough of a lot of paint. My black looks too thick already. I may just do like she does and put this on fast forward. I'm already getting a little around the white. That blue is beautiful. I don't know what's gonna happen with that. I did not go black. <laughs>
for white and black. For their unit. She has so much more damage, does it? Go that way first. Never done so, but I like it. All right, I'm going to turn the camera off, let this sit for a few minutes, and then we'll come back. So it looks. Okay, this is almost an hour later. It is kind of a cool night tonight. I think it's slowing it down a little bit, but I'll get you some close-ups, and uh, we'll come back at it tomorrow in the morning. See, it's making these really cool cells all around the edge. I like that. Some cool effects coming up of there. I think those are air bubbles that came out. Metallics look really metallic already. I don't know if y'all could see it on there. And this string of these really cool cells. Now, when I do it on the bigger canvas, I'm gonna need a lot of paint. I thought I had more than enough. I was worried about what am I going to do with this paint. It's not the same mix that we use for regular pours. And then I ran out of everything and mixed up more. See, there's this kind of a really cool line down the middle. Cells and these weird stretchy spots. Now remember, everything's got iridescent medium or a metallic in it, so it should be pretty cool. I will check back in in the morning, and we'll see how it looks. All right, well this is the next day. It's got some pretty effects on there, it's got some different stuff. Remember, this was a test for the 30 inch by 40 inch that I'm gonna try. And I know that I'm gonna have to do a lot more paint. I need a lot more white. Uh, I think I added too much Mars Black into my black mix, which make it sink through. And uh, it's still a little bit wet, but I'm going to carry it to the sun so y'all can get an idea. It's a little bit windy, so if I move too fast, it's because I don't want to lose my painting. But it is very cool. It's got some awesome colors. I hope you can still hear me. I'm moving my phone around away from me. 
for my first test piece of this. I'm extremely proud. I will uh, get you on number one.